Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use Grand Central Dispatch the background queue. Um, I realized I did a Grand Central Dispatch um, tutorial before but when I retook a look at it, it wasn't as clear as I hope it would be so um, I'm doing this one to show you how to use the background queue and um, I'll show you how, how it helps your application. So for now let's create an um, let's create a single view. Oh no that's okay single view application. It's gonna do an empty application and product name let's call it Grand Central Dispatch Tutorial device will be iPhone and we're not going to use a storyboard for this one and use automatic reference counting and create our project all right so um in our view controller let's let's have a let's have a button so let's have a button here then I'm just gonna call this load picture and then let me get a picture in here so I'll right click and I will say add file to Grand Central Dispatch tutorial and add it from my desktop and I'm gonna add iffy hat on here okay so now that's the iffy hat picture All right and let's go back to our view controller and that's all we need to do for now so we'll make our necessary connections so open up your assistant editor control click and drag your button onto the view controller dot h and the connection type will be action and name I'm just gonna call it um, load picture button press type will be ID event touch up inside argument will be sender and all right now let's look at our view controller dot M let's implement our view controller so in here I'm gonna I'm gonna have a so when the button is pressed what I want to happen is I'm gonna load the picture so do UI image view I'm just gonna call it image view equals UI image view alec init with image and then I'll call it UI UI image image name and the image is named ifyhat.jpg so ifyhat.jpg and then I'll set the frame of, of it so do image view set frame cg rect make and I'll do 0 0 and let's do just a random number 77 77 and and I'll do it self view add sub view image view so um, this is nothing new to us so let's run it on the iPhone simulator and let's see that that it works so when we press the button it should load up uh, it should load up a picture of the if he had in um, in this frame so origin is 0 0 the height and the width is 77 by 77 so we'll see that right now okay and anytime now there it is so now we click on load picture the image comes up here click on the picture the image comes up but now let's look at what happens when we um,
when we do uh, when we put a for loop in. So let's say for long equals zero. No, for long i equals zero. I less than. Let's just do uh, some number. I less than that much. I put how many zeros here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I put nine zero. That's two trillion, I think. For I less than two trillion, then we'll increment I. Then we'll do. Um, okay, if I equals equals. 1 trillion, so that's 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If that's 9, 0, and then we'll output something. Let's say ns log i is 1 trillion. Okay. But now if we do that, and then now uh, let's run our iPhone simulator again. Okay. Look what happens. Click the load picture. We have to wait for a while until that for loop completes. And then it outputs like i is right here. i is 1 trillion. And then the picture shows up. So that can be pretty time consuming. So, um, so what we're going to do here, let me show you again. I didn't do a reset or anything. So I have to relaunch it. So if you didn't catch that, look, click the load picture. I already let go it's doing whatever now it's saying I is 1 trillion and then the image actually shows up but to make it more efficient we can um, we can run this in the back in the background so what we'll do is we'll create a we'll create a dispatch queue we will create like this in our view controller we'll create a, a instance variables called dispatch QT, I'll call it background Q, and then in our view did load, I'm just gonna say um, background Q equals dispatch Q create. Then I'm gonna create my Q. I'm just you can call it whatever you want. If either perfect dot back background Q. That's my Q name and dispatch Q attribute. I'm just gonna make it null for now. All right. So that's our background Q. So now, what we can do is we can say um, instead of this, we can comment. We well, we can comment this out, and we can say. Dispatch async. That means we're gonna run this asynchronously, and we're gonna run this in the background queue. So we're gonna do this in um, background queue. And here, whatever we have to do, we'll, we'll run in a block. We'll run in a block of code. So all this block of code will run in the background, while the following codes like this one will get added on. So let's say we copy this for loop. I'm gonna copy it and let that. Oops. Oh, can't copy it. Let's see. Right click. It'll let me copy. Okay. Copy and then I'm gonna paste this here. Let me go back a little bit. Structure, shift left. Structure shift left, and I'm going to comment everything by doing command slash. So that's uncommenting. So, what we're doing now is we actually just put this code that was lagging in our, in our previous example in here. So, now we're still doing the same loop where i is zero, i is less than two trillion, increment i, and when i is a trillion, just do an ns log. And at the end of everything, it's going to show that. But now what we're going to do is all this thing, I is tr 1 trillion, is going to be run in the, in the background. So all we got to do is um, put a little 
uh, semicolon at the end. So now let's run it and see what happens. Now we click load picture. Now you see the image comes up right away and then this the NS log statement shows up. Let me run that again. That might have went a little too fast. So let's look at the output statement. Look, when I click on load picture, the image will come up right away, right here, and then the NS log statement for the highest one trillion will show up after. See, so now you get to see the image and all this thing. This NS log statement is being run in the background. And if you wanna if you wanna do something after, let's say you wanna have a string. Here, let me do another example that it that is kind of related to it. So we'll have a we'll do this, do block. So we need to do that because then this um it will be a, you'll be able to run it in your blocks. So instead of doing instead of just doing this and a string, I'll show you. STR, okay, so we have a variable, instance variable called STR, and in our view did load, I'm just gonna make STR equals first. Okay. And now let's say in our in our for loop, after the end of our for loop, I'm just gonna change str equals second. But now it, it doesn't let you because it's saying like here we need to incompatible pointer type assigned to n string strong or that warning. It's because like you can't use um, this variable inside a block because here we're inside of a code block right here. So what we, what we need to do is in front of the nsr string, we need to declare block. So now we can use this also inside a block. So the warning should go away now. But let's see, str equals second. Okay, so now it doesn't it doesn't tell us anything. But but let's do an ns log right here, like right after ns log, st str, and then we're just gonna see what the str output is. So let's let's see what the str output is for now. Look, so when we click the load picture right now, it's showing str is saying first, but you're saying like why should it be first, right? Because here the str when it's being changed to second is also being run in the background. So we need some sort of notification to like tell you that when str is changed. So I'm just going to create a notification really quick. I know this tutorial is using a lot of stuff. So let's do a ns notification center, default center. We'll do a add observer, selector name object. Okay, so choose the second one where it says add observer with the selector, the name and object. Server will be self, selector will just be, we'll just call it anything. We'll just say str change and name is the name of the notification I can also call it just to make it simple str change object will be nil so we just need to create this method called str change I just let's do void str change and then we're just gonna do an ns log of str will be str okay so now when when we change this we're just gonna post a notification so we're just gonna say ns notification center ns notification center um, default center post not oops um, post notification then we'll use ns notification notification with name and the name will be um, str change because we named that earlier so str change object um, no. okay so what's happening now is in the 
in the background when the str is is changed to second it's going to post a notification to uh, with the this notification name string change and it's so since we're up, we're doing we're adding observer so when the string change notification is posted the method name string change this call so it's going to do another ns log so let's run this and see what happens and you got to observe this um, little console in the log statements carefully so when we click load picture and then so now str is first now i is one trillion and now it says str second so what's going on is that here let me remove move the simulator away for a little bit so when we press the button the load picture button gets pressed right and then when we and the image view um, when we do a dispatch async background queue so we're running we're running this in the background whatever is in this code block but it's doing this asynchronously so this statement gets executed right away so it all the all these things in the code block is getting executed in the background so when it says ns log str str so that's that's when we see the first str is first because that's what we have initialized it to be right here in the view did load and and after it shows that the the view adds a sub view which is the image view so after that this shows up right away while while all this is still being executed in the background and when this when this gets done when i reach 1 trillion and this log statement shows up that says i is 1 trillion and a little bit later cuz i is less than 2 2 trillion so after another trillion um cycles the str gets changed to the string second and a notification is posted and when the notification is posted to this right here the the str change method gets called that's when it posts the new string where it says str is second so let me run that one more time just so maybe we can see it again okay so now we click the load picture notice the log statement comes up right will come up right here and then the then the image will come up and then a little bit later it will say i is one trillion and a little bit later after that it will say str is second so let's see i'm going to click it now there and then now i is one trillion we wait a little bit more notifications post it and then it does it in its log str second all right so this is a quick simple example of a dispatch async background queue running something in the background while while you you're doing something else so you can show some um some like user element you can show something on the screen while uh, big calculation being being um, calculated in the background and afterwards you can post some kind of notification or something saying it's done then you can do whatever you want and if you need some sort of variables you can use this uh, put the block in the front then it tells you that this variable you can use it inside the block so when you change it you once you make changes inside the block it will also um, persist to the to the outside of that code block Alright guys, thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time.